You got started without me. Cheers. I know you love ribs and everything, but man, give me a chance. Hey everybody, welcome back to BKC Cooks. I'm Brandon Carpenter, and today I'm doing my very first cook on my brand new Grilla Grill Silverback Pellet Grill. And my wonderful daughter is home from college, and uh, we're gonna make her favorite thing there is on the grill. And what's that? Ribs. Ribs. My baby loves ribs. And she's turned into quite a cook at college because uh, the dining hall is just not so great. And so uh, she wants to learn how to do ribs, and that's what we're gonna do today. So we got a nice uh, rack of spare ribs from Porter Road. We're gonna get those out of the bag, get them cleaned up, seasoned up, and show her exactly what we do to make my number one delicious ribs. So let's check it out. I'm just showing the ribs. So this is a nice rack, man, from Porter Road. It's almost like a half rack of spare ribs. But uh, it's a nice size. They look super meaty. Trimmed up pretty nicely already. But we're gonna get them out of the bag and see what they do. All right, y'all, so here's the rack. This is like a half rack of spares, man, but it looks really good. I'm not gonna do anything to the front. Um, the back, I'm just gonna clean up these little ragged pieces and then we'll pull the membrane. What ribs do you usually cook? Um, I usually do St. Louis cut ribs. And this is basically like a half of a rack of full spares. Um, when they do St. Louis, they'll cut this piece off and then they turn that into what they call rib tips. This is just like the breastplate bone. Uh, and people will do that typically to have a more uniform rack of ribs, easier to eat, easier to cook, easier to deal with. But uh, this is just like a nice little plate of ribs. So we're gonna leave it as it is, but we're gonna get a paper towel and pull this membrane. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. And then we'll season it up. I mean, baby girl, so the reason you wanna pull this membrane is because it can get a little tough and just not pleasant to eat. And the easiest way to do it is to get a paper towel and so, and to get a grip on it, usually you have to get like a little butter knife or something to get you a little hold on it. But that corner looked like it was ready to go, and it was. So, you just take your paper towel for grip, and you pull that off. Sometimes it comes off in one nice motion but this one ain't cooperating so we're still gonna get it off though your brother always has great luck with this you know he's my rib man for now probably not for long once you get this perfected but yeah that membrane is you can see how that would be unpleasant to eat and deal with, right? Mm -hmm. So, we're almost there. It's being stubborn, but it's coming off of that. And that's it, so yeah. Uh, usually in restaurants, um, when they're cranking out a bunch of ribs, they won't remove this because it's just time consuming. But if you're at home, doing it at home and you've got time, I recommend you get that off of there. All right, y'all, so the hard part is done. Uh, we're gonna season them up, and usually I make my own rub, but uh, I got some stuff in the mail um, from Uncle Steve Shake. I don't know if y'all can get a good view of that, but no, it's not. At any rate, this is the competition pig shake from Uncle Steve Shake. Um, made for pork ribs, all that kind of good stuff, and we're gonna give this a try today. And I'm gonna let my daughter season this stuff up. Um, be heavy handed, cause it's a lot of meat. So you can just shake, 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 and we're gonna rub it all in, do the other side, and then we'll get ready to uh, get this thing going. Okay. All right, here you go. All right, looks good, mama. All right, well, now we got these ribs all seasoned up. We're going to go outside, get the grill started. Um, silverback takes a little bit to get up to temp, just like any grill, but that's going to give uh, our ribs a chance to soak in all that seasoning and uh, absorb all that flavor and do all the things it's supposed to do. So go outside, get that grill started, and once it's up to temp, we'll be ready to rock. Let's go. 
All right, so it's time to get this old silver back going. So first thing, do we uh, open it up and make sure there's nothing in there. There's not supposed to be in there. It's, yeah, it's heavy because it's, you can open it all the way up. It's heavy because it's uh, high quality. It's good stuff. So you just want to make sure there's like, you know, nothing in there that's not supposed to be in there. No critters or, you know, mm -hmm. anything like that. So that's good. So you can close it back down. And open this lid. That's the hopper for the pellets. This is so these are the wood pellets. These are the fuel. You know, usually I use charcoal and stuff like that, but um, this is what this unit uses. So it spins it in there, burns them, and that's how you get your heat and your smoke. So we got good pellets. So turn the power on. Okay, uh, go up to. Hit those up arrows until you get to 275. Hit select. And that's it. Mm. So we're going to wait, make sure everything does what it's supposed to do. You'll start hearing stuff dropping. You'll start seeing smoke. And that's how you know that it's, uh, it's running correctly. Okay. It's easier than uh, lighting a fire and doing all that stuff, huh? Yes. You think you could do this? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So uh, once this thing gets going, we'll get back to it. All right, mm -hmm. we got smoke. Yes. So we're in business. So I put this into pro mode. Uh, what the pro mode does is it's gonna make this uh, grill behave more like a traditional smoker, uh, where you'll have fluctuations in temperature. And uh, the way it's programmed is it. Uh, does it in such a way that it puts more smoke on your food and that's the flavor I'm going for. So we're going to rock it to, <coughs> excuse me, the smoke getting to me, 275 in pro mode, but we're going to let this get up to temp and uh, let the, our smoke get nice and clean and we'll get those ribs on. Easy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Ask your question. Are you smoking it or barbecuing it? So that's a great question. So we're going to be smoking. And so smoking and barbecuing, barbecue kind of encompasses all types of things. Uh, and it means different things to different people. But typically when I talk smoking and barbecue, I'm talking the same thing. Um, grilling to me is something that's grilled uh, at a higher heat and over direct heat. Smoking is low and slow. And um, in this case, again, 275, that's a pretty low temperature, but that's a typical barbecue temperature. 250 to 300 is, uh, and 300 is gonna be on a higher range of anything that you're trying to do low and slow. Um, so yeah, typically the stuff that I'm gonna smoke or barbecue is gonna be 250 to 275. So um, people talk about grilling, oh, I'm putting something on the grill to me, they're, that's like burgers, steaks, hot dogs. Um, barbecue is low and slow. That's pretty good smoke, huh? <laughs> My eyes. I know. All right, baby, see how the smoke is now? You can't even really see anything. So that means we have nice, clean smoke. Those that white smoke, they call that dirty smoke. So if you're uh, cooking with dirty smoke, it'll make your food like really bitter, kind of acrid. Um, it'll put a really nasty color and taste and it's just bad news, really bad news. But this is nice and clean and we're still only at 240 so we got a little while till we get to 275 but if you got nice clean smoke or you can't even see any smoke, that's where you want to be. Yeah. All right. All right y'all so our grill is up to temp. It's time to get this slab of ribs on so let's go ahead and get it opened up baby. Hot. So hot. Oh. It sure is. Okay. That's because the sun is beating down on that handle. So just put that slip, that slab right in the middle. And you always want to put these meat side up. Just the same way we got them right now. Is that middle enough? Yep, that's perfect. Okay. And that's it. I'll pull this down because it's hot. <laughs> I thought I was going crazy. No, it's not you. The sun is beating down right on that handle. Did it go down? Why did it go down? Because mm. we opened the lid and it lost heat. Oh, so like the oven? 
Yep, just like an oven. You see it's climbing back up because now it's adding more pellets and it's adding more heat and it'll eventually even out. Well, that's the thing about barbecue. You have your fluctuations and that's normal. That's to be expected. But this makes it super easy because that computer takes care of everything and you have to come out here and keep you know, managing the fire and doing all that stuff. It handles it for you. So we got these ribs on. We're gonna check them in an hour and see if they need to be spritzed, make sure they're cooking evenly and just what they're doing overall. Cause again, this is my first time cooking on this thing, but I'm highly confident it's gonna do a great job. So we'll check it back in an hour. All right, so it's been an hour, baby. We're gonna uh, take a look and see how these ribs are looking. Oh yeah. Those are coming along really nicely. It's sitting at a perfect 275, so everything is doing what it's supposed to do. Very good. You smell that good wood smoke? No. Looks pretty good, huh? Yes. All right, close it back down, baby. All right, so these have been on three hours, baby. Let's open up and take a look. Yeah, those are looking nice. Really, really nice. Yes. I'm thinking maybe, uh, maybe another half hour. Okay, so we need this. Yeah, let's give it, see it's getting a little dry right there. Uh-huh. Let's just give it a quick little spritz all over. Is that good? You can do a little more. Yep, that's good. Close it back down. Yeah, those are looking fantastic. I'm really liking this grill. So, what do you think of what you've been doing so far? This is easy. What is? Everything or just dealing with the grill? This grill. Yeah. That definitely makes it easy. So you'll be able to do ribs on your own? With this grill, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to check back in. I think a half hour, we're going to be ready. So uh, 30 minutes, mm -hmm. I'll, let you, uh, I'll let you decide, okay? Me? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, baby girl, it's been about three and a half hours. Let's get in there and take a look. I think these are done. Yeah, those look good to me. See how the bones pulled back? Or a meat pulled back from the bones. Uh -huh. Got great color on them. Nice and barky. Still juicy. Pick them up with the tongs. Let's make sure they like bend and flex. You have to pick them up right in the middle. Get in there. Yep, nice and flexible. Uh -huh. I'm calling them ready, baby. So let's get them in the house and uh, let's do a taste test. What do you say? Uh -huh. All right. All right, y'all, the ribs are done. Baby girl did an amazing job. As you can see, these ribs look amazing. They flexible, they juicy. Can y'all hear? You can hear them, how juicy they are, that's crazy. Um, I'm excited to see also what this, uh, what this rub is looking like, man. This is the pig shake from Uncle Steve's. And uh, Uncle Steve sent over a, uh, I think he's in everything he makes, man. Um, I got a wonderful care package, so shout out to good folks over at Uncle Steve Shake. I'll be putting those products to use, but uh, we're gonna get into these ribs, man, and see exactly how they came out. I'm excited to see how the silverback cooked and what kind of job it did. Again, my first cook on my brand new pellet grill. I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, I'm loving the color, I'm loving the the t oh, look at that. That's going to be tender and good, ain't it? <laughs> Y'all, this literally just fell apart. Get through that chine part there for you, my lady. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Mr. Dog, you don't get one. You're on a special diet. You got started without me. Cheers. 
I know you love ribs and everything, but man, give me a chance. That's, it's got a beautiful smoke ring. These things are still nice and hot off that smoker, but they're juicy. Let's do it. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's a fine rib. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. What do you think? Good. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you like. It smells good. Mm -hmm. And it tastes good. It's juicy. The seasoning's good too. That seasoning is good. It's not too sweet. Got a lot of flavor going on. They might come up short for dinner. <laughs> My baby loves ribs. If I let her, she would eat this whole rack, wouldn't you? Not in a sitting. You have before. No? You've come close? If it's the only thing I'm eating. <laughs> well, we got to save some for your brother and sister. We all got to tell you, I'm very impressed. Silverback cooked wonderfully. That thing was amazing. Super easy to use. It was my first time cooking on it. It's her first time cooking on anything um, as far as a grill or smoke or anything like that. Um, what did you think about it? It was easy to use. If I had to cook on it, I could. Yeah, it'd be easy to work with. Mm-hmm. That's the name of the game. That's the point. And you get results like this. Man, you can't ask for more than that. So uh, that's going to do it for this one, y'all. We're going to wrap this up and finish these beautiful, beautiful, delicious, tender, smoky, and juicy ribs. And as always, I wish good eating to y'all. Stop being scared. Put something on that grill. You get that smoker going from now on. I'm not doing anything else. It's all on you. Okay? We'll see. We'll see. Okay. And we'll catch y'all on the next one.